exhilarating stuff, by the way. I love, before, I, before I finish this, I just want to say, I love how it says, plate my one-year-old's breakfast with me. And it's you cutting up one individual donut, throwing some applesauce on the plate, and handing it to that individual. That young toddler. <coughs> like, you made it sound... <laughs> made it feel like that was something that exciting. thing again that I tried yesterday. She didn't like it just flat out alone. Um, I think a couple people suggested to do it in smoothies. That's what my girlfriend said. But I'm not doing a smoothie right now. So I'm going to try to mix it with her regular milk that I usually give her and see if she doesn't notice. She might not notice if it's mixed with her regular milk. Now, just I'm not trying to get on baby right here. Okay, I'm not trying to get on baby girl. But she clearly looks like a... She's off a little bit. You can see the shirt is dirty. I get it. You're making your girl. You're, or you're not really doing it. I don't know how you got your shirt dirty from simply chopping up one donut and putting some applesauce and shaking one bottle of milk. You were dirty before we even got to this point. I'm not sure what's going on there, but some people don't give a F. And then I'll just put the rest away and try it again. If Heck, I make my mistakes. Now, now I'm not going to show too much of the kid's face. But here's my thing about that. So, when children are young, you're not supposed to give them food that is such high in sugar. Okay? Now, we could see that the child was already starting to get a little stomach. You know, every kid has a little bit of baby fat. But, based off what we're seeing looking at the mother. Okay? If we look at the mother again. We can see that she's she's a little chunky monkey. I'm chunky monkey, okay? And when I say chunky monkey, let's not sugarcoat it. No pun intended for that donut, but um, both of us are obese. And I said obese with a T, okay? Not obese, a beast. Okay, because we eat, okay? Too much. Now, I don't know what she's going on, me, myself. I've been trying to do, I've been being healthier, been really cutting back, been really watching my sugar intake, been really watching my intakes in general. I don't know what this young lady is going through. However, madam, and this is not personally towards you. This is for commentary purposes. I'm not trying to attack. I'm not saying y'all should attack her. This is simply a, crit a criticism. You probably shouldn't be feeding your one-year-old child something that is so high in sugar, okay? Mm -hmm. You're going to cause problem for that child. <clears throat> Get a regular snack or a regular food. And if you don't know what to do, there is a magical tool out there called YouTube and Google, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, friends, families. You can even go to maybe your local motherhood place if you have one and ask yourself, can I feed my kids donuts? And I want you to notice that that was a whole pack of donuts. So either that kid is eating donuts every day and you're warming them up or you, madam, are about to eat the rest of those donuts. Somebody in that house is eating the rest of them donuts. It's not good for you. It's not good for the child. You, ma'am, can get away with one donut. That child, based off what we're seeing, if you're willing to feed your child that, there's a good chance you're willing to feed your child even more processed, heavy food. Okay? Not good for a child. Keep it as... Listen, I know some people going to hate. I say keep it as natural as you can for a child because really these foods, these processed foods that I endure... You endure. These aren't good foods at the end of the day. Those foods are meant for every now and then. For a light-hearted, ah, you know what? I'm just feeling something processed, you know? I don't know who would say that, but we're not meant to eat that in large quantities. As you see, what happened to me? What happened to her? We both look, I look like, you know what? I'm looking like Jabba the Hutt, and she's looking like somebody who's big. I'm going to keep the insults on me. Nonetheless... 
We don't want the kid to have to go through this. And that's where I'm a little bit bothered, madam, because you are the mother, but this child does not have a choice in what they eat. And if this kid ends up growing up to be obese, just like their mother, this kid could have diabetes by the time they're 10 or 11 because you're already feeding them sugary and high fat food. I get it's hard being a mother. I get it's hard being a parent. Okay. Now, I think she mentioned in the beginning, there's no man in the picture. I think she mentioned a girlfriend. I, I don't know what's going on with that, but still, you need to find some outside guidance because this ain't going to help. And another thing, madam, you need to start taking care of your body because if you cannot be the example, it's going to be hard for the child because normally what happens, there's two ways a child can go. Some children go, I will never be fat because my mother was fat and I refuse to be fat. And then there's another version of this to go, hey, you know what? <coughs> My mom's fat, I eat what my mom eats, she's still alive, I'm still alive, and then you pass away, ma'am, and then she goes, man, my mom died, She gets the, the, the kid gets even more stressed out, mm, they gain even more weight, it is a vicious circle that started at one years old when you were feeding her donuts, you have got, to, <clears throat> man, my voice is going, give me one second. <sighs> you have got to start learning how to be nutritionally sound. Maybe cut back on donuts. Maybe go grapes. Maybe go bananas. Throw some veggies up in that mug. And then go talk to other mothers who kids are somewhat something you can look up to. Something you can be like, oh, you know that kid's eating pretty healthy. And so you gotta follow everything. But donuts ain't it. Donuts are not it. My goodness. So, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I'm gone.